Hello Makers! Welcome to the AGF Quilt Block Collection. My name is Melly, and I just got done sewing the most gorgeous block called Polly's Favorite with Sparkler Fusion Fabrics. It was such a treat sewing with the soft warm color palette of Sparkler Fusion Fabrics and I'm drooling over the sparkly metallic prints. Well, are you ready for another quilt block tutorial? Let's get started! If you're new to our channel and love quilting as much as we do, don't forget to subscribe below to watch more fun sewing tutorials like this one. Check out the description box below to find all the cutting requirements and step-by-step -step instructions. To make four flying geese using the no waste method, take one five and one fourth square from fabric C and four two and seven eighths squares from fabric B. Draw a diagonal line with a fabric marking pen on the wrong sides of your two and seven eighths squares. Place two squares at each corner of your 5 and 1 4 inch square. Make sure right sides are together and the diagonal lines match up to make a straight line. Sew 1 4 inch on each side of the line. Cut piece on the diagonal line you marked. You will now have two pieces that look like this. Press seams toward fabric B and place a 2 and 7 8 square at the lower corner of your piece. Sew on each side of the diagonal line you marked at 1 4 inch. Cut piece on the diagonal line. You will now have four flying geese using the no waste method. To make your square into square blocks, take a four and a half inch square from fabric E and four two and a half inch squares from fabric C. Draw a diagonal line with a fabric marking pen on your two and a half inch squares. Place right sides together to one of the corners of your four and a half inch square and sew on the line you drew. Trim your seam allowance to one fourth inch and repeat this process with all the corners of your four and a half inch square. Repeat this with your remaining fabric pieces to get four square and a square units. To sew the center of your block, take your four and a half inch on point fussy cut square and sew your flying geese to each side. Then sew a two and a half inch square to the remaining flying geese to create your top and bottom rows. Sew your rows together alternating seams. To each of your square and a square units, sew a two and a half by four and a half inch strip to each side. Next, sew a two and a half by eight and a half inch strip to the top. You will need a total of four of these blocks. Arrange your block following the block design and sew into rows and sew your rows together alternating seams. Trim your block on point to 15 inches squared, making sure you leave a 1 4 inch seam allowance around your entire block. Great job! Your Polly Favorites block is complete. Ta-da! This big lovely block finished off at 15 inches and I'm super obsessed with the way it turned out. Do you want to see more fun sewing projects made with Sparkler Fusions? Make sure to check out our Project Fabric Catalog to find your next sewing project. Thanks so much for watching. I can't wait to see you back here for the next quilt block tutorial. Thanks for watching. For more fun sewing videos, subscribe to the AGF channel. Leave us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Share in the comments box below what you want the next AGF quilt block tutorial to be. Until next time, happy sewing!